Learn how Ferret makes declarative web search easy in Go. From setup to data extraction for static and dynamic pages. In the world of web crawlers, static web page data extraction is a basic and important part. Taking the common static web page data extraction as an example, we can learn some operation ideas. Back to the code part, taking the synchronous version of the code as an example. To extract the post content, we can first define a function. The role of this function is to help us get the desired tweet information from the web page elements. The specific operation is to traverse the span tags under each element one by one. The advantage of this is that it can accurately locate the data related to the tweet. In this process, we also need to define some key selectors. For example, the CSS selected of the tweet content, we need to clearly define the elements it points to so that the tweet content can be accurately extracted after extracting the tweet content. Some processing is required. For example, we can extract the first 10 characters of the content to make the data more concise and clear. At the same time, in order to make the data presentation more beautiful, we can also process the spaces in the content and remove the extra spaces to make the output look more comfortable after extracting and processing the tweet content. The next step is to determine the starting position of the crawl. This requires us to get the page number of the previous page link and then add one to it. Why do we do this? Because some web pages have decreasing page numbers. For example, the current page is 7,000 and the next page is 6,999, which is different from the usual increasing pages numbers dot in this way. We can accurately start assembling the links of each page, thereby realizing the crawling of data from different pages. Ferret also performs well for dynamic web pages. The characteristic of dynamic web pages is that the page content will change according to factors, such as user operations or time, which makes data extraction difficult. However, Ferret can handle this situation well through a declarative approach. It can simulate various user operations on the web page, such as clicking and scrolling to trigger the loading of dynamic content. Then, use its powerful selector function to accurately extract the data we need. In 2025, the timeliness and accuracy of data are becoming increasingly important. Ferret's declarative web crawling method not only improves the efficiency of data extraction, but also ensures the quality of data. It allows developers to search the web and crawl data more easily in the Go language environment without writing complex code logic. Whether for novice developers or experienced professionals, Ferret is a tool worth trying. Using Ferret for declarative web crawling, whether it is static or dynamic web pages, can greatly facilitate our web data crawling work in 2025. It simplifies the process of data extraction, allowing us to focus more on data analysis and applications, thereby mining more valuable information.